Hi, and welcome to the business of being a virtual assistant. I'm your host, Tiffany Parson, and you're watching and listening to episode number 263. I am so glad to be off of our hiatus. Glad to introduce that we are in season 13 of this podcast. If this is your very first time listening, thank you so much for tuning in. This podcast started way back in 2011. Fast forward to now, we are in season 13. Ah, And I'm so excited about it. So I'm kicking off this first episode to talk about getting a break. When was the last time you took a mental break? We're going, 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 doing, 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 reading, doing this, this, all kinds of stuff all day, every day. And if you're like me, being honest with yourself, even on the weekends, your scroll along social media is business related. You're taking in a lot of information, a little entertainment, but taking in a lot of information And after a while, after a while, it begins to be too much and you find yourself feeling like you're working around the clock and it's never ending. I'm sure you know this can only go on for so long before you need to take a break. Or before you crack, you know, like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. Forget it. I can't do it. I posted a few days ago on the Facebook page. And if you're not following the Facebook page, we have a page for the podcast. It's called The Business of Being a Virtual Assistant. If you don't feel like spelling all that out, you can do the acronym, facebook.com, and then the acronym, T-B-B-V-A. Find us over there, like the page. But I posted that you're allowed to take a break. I think as business owners, we tend to forget about ourselves as a person because we're so engrossed in our business. We forget that We're not a machine. We're not superhuman. We have to take a break. And as I was taking a break myself, realizing I relax hard, I rest hard, but I don't play hard. Relaxing is important. Resting is important. Playing is just as important. If we think about it, play is the opposite of work. What I've been doing is thinking that resting is the opposite, relaxing is the opposite. So I'm doing that. But guess what's still going, even though I'm winding down, I'm sleeping, I've got my feet propped up. My mind is still going, 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 going. So it still feels like I'm running 24-7. It's like, you know, I need to play. I need something. I need to do something fun. And I'm like, well, what is fun? I need to go bowling. I need to uh, go skating. I need to play a video game in a arcade or Dave and Buster's or somewhere outside of the house. I need to play skee ball. Skee ball used to be my favorite at the arcade. Oh, I could stay on the skee ball machine forever. Um, there's even axe throwing. I just needed, I needed something where I wasn't responsible. And this is what I told my husband. We need to go do something fun. I need to be doing something where I'm not responsible, where I'm not the one that has to 
think about anything or be responsible for the thing. I need to play. And sometimes you have to dial all the way back, you know, to think about what playing is. What does that mean to you? And for me, that means, you know, not responsible, just able to just have fun and not be the responsible one. See, as a kid, we played. We didn't think about the time. We didn't think about the cost. We didn't think about who was there. We didn't think about who was around us. None of that because we were there to play. We go skating, play. Not responsible. Hang out at the mall with friends, play. Not responsible. Okay, this right here is bugging me in the background. This is actually a business card. It's a sample business card that I ordered. But when I saw this on that table, it looked like something had spilled. So instead of recording, I'm like, let me pick that up. Because <laughs> it's bugging me like, what is that? Random things. But playing and not having to be responsible. Just enjoying the fun. And I hadn't communicated that before. I hadn't even thought about that before because I'm thinking, hey, I'm chilling. I'm good. No, not good. You need a break, sister. You need a break. You need a break. I could not get words together to even come to you to talk about it. Because I was full. When something is full, when this is full, I can't put anything else in it. It's got to be emptied so I can refill it. So if you're one like me, love learning, love taking information, you got to do something with it to empty yourself. You got to do something with that information. You got to put it into action to get it off of you because it's in your head, swimming around, swimming. So you're full and you feel, oh, I need a break. You need a break. You need to play and then you come back and put some things into action because now you're ready. Now you're ready. Now, all of you may not be where I am feeling right now, but there will come a point where you may feel this way. And if you're a previous listener of the podcast, you've heard me say before, you got to give yourself grace. We're constantly learning our, about ourselves in business. As our business evolves and change, so do we as the owner of that business that's evolving and changing. Be okay with where you are. Still doing all the things that we have to do in our business. That doesn't stop. When I say take a break, I'm not referring to your responsibilities, your commitments, your deadline. I'm not talking about any of that. I'm talking about the things that are optional, the things that can be put on hold. Not taking in anything new until you're ready, until you've gotten what you need to get. And for me, that was taking a break from different things that I needed to take a break from so I could think clearly. So I could be energized, be creative, and enjoy the things that I'm doing. So I'm glad that we're back. Welcome to season 13. If you have not subscribed to the podcast, make sure you do. However you're listening, 
whether you're on um, an audio version of the podcast, you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on face, Facebook, be sure to like the page. I want to thank you so much. You. Thank you for listening all the way through. I challenge you to put into action the information that I have given you today, not just receive it, but apply it in some way. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful and fantastic day.